The Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite Card is Bank of America's first product in the luxury credit card space. I personally got this card about three months ago, and I've been using this card pretty regularly since that time, so I wanted to give you all my personal take and experience with using this card and if this card is one that you should consider getting. The current sign-up bonus on the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite Credit Card is 50,000 points after spending $3,000 in the first 90 days after account opening, which is worth $500 but can be worth up to $600 depending on how these points are redeemed. For point redemptions, these points can be redeemed in one of three ways. Travel redemption through the Bank of America Travel Portal, specifically with flights, which nets you a 1.25 cent per point redemption rate cash back via statement credit or direct deposit, netting you a one cent per point redemption rate, or through gift cards, also netting you a one cent per point redemption rate. As a higher tier credit card, the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite card has an annual fee of $550. At this level of annual fee, this card is placed in the same category as the American Express Platinum card, Chase Sapphire Reserve card, and the Capital One Venture X. Regarding its multipliers, this card earns unlimited two points for every dollar spent on travel and dining purchases and unlimited 1.5 points per dollar on all other purchases. Now the real benefit with the travel and dining multipliers with Bank of America credit cards are how broad these categories are as compared to other banks. Looking at the qualifying categories, here's an abridged list of what qualifies as travel and dining when using your Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite card. The travel multiplier consists of all the typical categories you would expect, such as flights, hotels, car rentals, and cruise lines, but this category also extends into the transit category, including taxis, trains, buses, ferries, parking lots, and tolls. And there are even more not as common categories that qualify, including real estate rentals, timeshares, campgrounds, and motorhome rentals. This category also includes tourist attractions, art galleries, amusement parks, and aquariums, making the Bank of America Travel Multiplier one of the most comprehensive in terms of qualifying categories. The Dining Multiplier is also very inclusive as well, and even includes bars, taverns, cocktail lounges, and nightclubs. But that's not all. As a part of Bank America's Preferred Rewards program, you can receive up to 75% more points on every purchase. With the gold tier, netting you 2.5 points per dollar on travel and dining and 1.875 points per dollar on everything else. With the platinum tier, netting you 3 points per dollar on travel and dining and 2.25 points per dollar on everything else. And with the platinum honors tier, netting you 3.5 points per dollar on travel and dining and 2.625 points per dollar on everything else. In order to qualify for each tier, you must have assets with Bank of America, at least $20,000 to qualify for gold, at least $50,000 to qualify for platinum, and at least $100,000 to qualify for platinum honors. Of course, keeping this kind of money in a checking account is probably something that isn't necessary for most people. So if you want to be in the preferred rewards program, it's best to meet these requirements in a Merrill Lynch investment account like the Merrill Edge self-directed brokerage account. In this account, you have unlimited $0 stock, ETF, and options trades with no annual feeds or balance minimums. You can also use Merrill Lynch 401k, traditional IRA, or Roth IRA accounts to meet the minimum balance requirements for the preferred rewards system. In terms of your ETF options for any of these investment accounts, unfortunately you can't purchase fractional shares and not all ETFs are available for trading as Merrill Edge does block some actively managed ETFs. Going back to the Premium Rewards Elite credit card, there are also multiple other perks and benefits. I listed them all out on this slide here with card-specific benefits on the left and general Visa Infinite benefits on the right. You can pause the video now if you'd like to look at this list in more detail. From the card-specific list, I'm going to go over these four benefits in more detail. Before I do that though, I do want to briefly talk about these other benefits here. This card offers no foreign transaction fees, no fees for adding authorized users, and a maximum of five authorized users per account. The Premium Rewards Elite card also gives you access to a full service concierge that can help you book your travel, dinner reservations, event tickets, and more. Okay, so moving on to the main benefits of this card, this card offers $550 back in automatic statement credits, a $100 TSA pre-check and global energy credit every four years, a $300 travel incidental credit, and a $150 lifestyle credit. Although technically that TSA pre-check and global entry credit is an automatic statement credit, it only works once every four years, and this is a little misleading, so we're not really gonna count that credit. 
Of course, if you had a choice with this credit, definitely get Global Entry if you can, as this also includes TSA PreCheck. It also will use the full $100 credit, whereas getting TSA PreCheck only costs $85, so you wouldn't be able to maximize this credit if you went the TSA PreCheck route. Okay, so moving on to the Travel Incidental Credit, the Premium Rewards Elite Credit Card offers up to $300 saving credit for airline lounge fees, seat upgrades, baggage fees, and in-flight services. What makes this credit much nicer than, for example, the $200 Amex Platinum Airline Incidental Statement Credit is that you don't have to select a single airline and this credit can be used across multiple airlines. The only restriction with Bank America's version is that charges from Allegiant Air, Spirit Airlines, and Sun Country Airlines will not qualify. Finally, let's cover the lifestyle credit where you can receive up to $150 in statement credits annually that covers food delivery, streaming services, fitness subscriptions, and rideshare services. These categories are quite broad, so in my opinion, this lifestyle credit is pretty easy to use. It covers things like Uber, Uber Eats, and any streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, and HBO Max, so I think that most people will have no problem getting the full value from this statement credit. So for each of these credits, Bank of America makes it very easy to track your spending. On their website, you can track which expenses have qualified for a statement credit quickly and easily. For reference, here are a few screenshots of my own Bank of America Rewards account that shows my progress for the $300 airline incidental statement credit, $150 annual lifestyle statement credit, and the $100 airport security statement credit. Okay, so let's figure out the effective annual fee for this card and see where we stand. The annual fee on the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite credit card is $550. If we can maximize a $300 travel incidental statement credit and $150 lifestyle statement credit, that leaves us with an effective annual fee of $100. Again, we won't count the $100 airport security statement credit since it's only valid once every four years. But even though the effective annual fee has dropped to $100, the Bank of America Premium Rewards credit card only has a $95 annual fee with the same multipliers, and it also has that $100 TSA PreCheck and Global Entry credit as well. So why not get that card instead? The answer is the final benefit of the Premium Rewards Elite card that we haven't covered yet, which is where you can save 20% on domestic and international airfare for any class when you pay with points on the Bank of America Travel Portal. This 20% savings equates to a 1.25 cent per point redemption rate. The Bank of America Travel Portal is pretty straightforward to use, like most travel portals out there. But what's important to know is that for the most part, the flights that are listed on the travel portal match the price that you would otherwise get if you purchase your flights directly from the airline website, regardless of seat class. Of course, there are some exceptions, so make sure to check both websites before you book, but this means that you'll get at the very least a 1.25 cent per point redemption rate when redeeming your Bank of America points for airline travel through their travel portal. Taking into account the Platinum Honors Chair Multiplier values of 3.5x on dining and travel and 2.625x on everything else, redeeming points in this way would yield an effective multiplier of 4.375x on travel and dining and 3.281x on everything else, which is a phenomenal multiplier, especially the everything else category, which is quite often the category that's neglected, but often is the category with the highest monthly spend for a lot of people. This is why the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite Card is so powerful. When combined with the 20% savings on airfare redemption, the effective multiplier, especially in the everything else category, can get you great value with your points if you redeem your points for air travel using their travel portal. So who should get this card? Well, as I explained earlier, this card is really meant for those who want to have assets of Bank of America and be a part of their preferred rewards system. If you can make at least platinum tier, which means you have at least $50,000 in assets of Bank of America, I would at the very least consider this card. Now, if you can make platinum honors tier, having at least $100,000 in assets with Bank of America and domestic international travel is a part of your lifestyle, I actually highly recommend this card for you. Now, if you can make platinum or platinum honors, but you don't let the high annual fee of $550 and don't plan on using the Bank of America travel portal for point redemptions, the Bank of America Premium Rewards credit card would be a great alternative card for you. It has the same multipliers as the Premium Rewards Elite credit card, except it only has the $95 annual fee. For myself, as I'm part of the Platinum Honors tier and I have no problem being the $300 annual incidental credit and $150 lifestyle credit, and I think paying the extra $5 on the annual fee side to have access to the 20% savings for airline point redemptions is worth it, keeping this card makes sense for me. 
So that's my honest review of the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite credit card. I know I'm in the minority when I say that this card's a great card to have, but I wanna know what you think. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, check out these two videos where I talk more about the Premium Rewards Elite credit card.